Hi there, one of my biggest annoyances with Amazon is how shady they can be sometimes with their software updates. Right now, in March 2022, Technically speaking, no new update has been released. But in January, just a couple months ago, they did release a new update. What's happening right now is they're actually remotely activating the update they pushed out back in January, right now in March. Something really frustrating about this is I saw this coming and I put my Kindle in airplane mode in hopes that I can prevent the update from coming to my Kindle. So I can do a side-by-side -side comparison with two Kindles that I own. Unfortunately though, even that Kindle got the update. What's happening is it doesn't matter if you're in airplane mode right now, if you install the update anytime between January and now, you will eventually be getting these new visual changes activated onto your Kindle. Now the good thing is the update is actually really nice. I'm a big fan of it, but I'm just not a fan of the way they're rolling it out. Let's actually talk about the big changes in this new software update. Let me start with the home tab of the Kindle. Now the home tab on the very top of the screen got a very big change. You can clearly see the your library section is huge. They made the thumbnails of this section for the book covers much, much bigger. And one more thing you can do now is actually swipe to the left and go through your most recent 20 books all from the home tab without having to go into the library tab. This is actually a really nice and welcome change. I love how they're highlighting and emphasizing the books that you've actually purchased and not bombarding you with recommendations first thing on the top of the screen. So I do really appreciate that. And I also really do enjoy the larger text and thumbnails on the top of the screen. It just looks so much better compared to before. Before they had these small little thumbnails stacked up on top of each other. It just was not a pleasant look at all. Now everything below this section is relatively the same as before. This is where all the recommendations and trending lists will be shown to you. They did add a new section over here for discovering books with a bunch Bunch of filters you can choose from for different categories of books you might be interested in. Now, I do like the new design of these circular buttons. We'll be talking more about this in the next section of the video. One other major improvement with this new update is the scroll bar on the right side of the screen. Now, this scroll bar was always there before, but previously it was not possible to press and drag on it up and down. With this new update, we can press and drag on that scroll bar. It actually works really really well. If you want to quickly hop up and down the page, this is a great way of doing that. Now my overall thoughts on this home tab is that I don't really see the point of it at all. I do really appreciate the new updates and the emphasis on the library section on the top of the screen and the scroll bar is also very nice. But honestly speaking, I am never using this home tab to begin with. So it's really not a big change for me. Now where I do spend most of my time on my Kindle is in the library tab. And this is where they added some really nice changes because they really do impact impact your day-to-day -day use of the Kindle. The first thing you're gonna see right away are these ginormous book covers and these larger thumbnails across the entire screen. I really, really love this new style of book cover. You may not see it right away, but one major change they did over here is instead of having different pages where you swipe left and right to go between your books, now you just have one giant continuous page where you scroll up and down to navigate through all your books in the library. This is very similar to the home tab where you just scroll up and down. They move the scroll bar to the right side over here of the library tab as well. It is very, very convenient. I actually prefer this over the page sorting that they had before. Now look, I definitely understand there are people out there like myself who have dozens and dozens of books in their Kindle library and having one giant continuous page to scroll through may not be ideal. However, if you use the filters, which I'll talk about in a second now, it's a great way to narrow down the results coming up in your library tab so you only see what you actually need to read. Let's talk about the filters on the Kindle home screen over here. The filters themselves are not new. If you've used filters before on the previous software, you're gonna see the same exact options as before. What they did change though is how you use them and how you can access them. It is so much easier and it's so much more pleasant to use. When you press on that filter icon, you'll see this new menu come up from the bottom of the 
the screen with all the filters you have available to you. To activate a filter, you simply press on it, it'll turn black, and to turn it off, you press on it again, and it'll deactivate. This is super useful for filtering out only your read books or your unread books, your downloaded books or your not downloaded books. You can also filter out documents versus books. Super, super useful, especially if you're a power user of using a Kindle. I really love this new circular button icon for all the filters. Previously, the filters were just showing up in a list format. You just tap on it from a menu and that was not very user friendly at all. This is a very nice way of accessing filters. And the great part about this is when you do activate one and you close out the menu, you'll see all the filters you have turned on show up on the top of the screen. Now, previously those filters would also be there on the top of the screen, but they would take up more space. And if you wanted to clear the filters, you would have to clear all of them. Now with these new circular buttons, you can just simply press on the X next to the filter you want to deactivate and you can turn filters off right from the main screen over here without having to go back into the menu to choose which one you want. This is a very small quality of life improvement, but again, if you're using filters regularly, this is a very, very big deal. Someone like myself, I always filter my books out. I'll be using this all the time. Speaking of circular buttons though, they also brought these over to the sorting menu, which is opposite of the filter menu. This one's on the right side of the screen. When you press on it, you have some very straightforward options. You can choose the way your books are organized on the library home screen. Things like choosing between alphabetical order, most recent books, or even by author's name. Now this sorting menu is definitely looking really great, but one thing I want to call out here is the list view. This list view was always there before, but they made some huge visual improvements. When you press on this list view, you'll see all your books appear again in a very straightforward list. List. But this time, unlike before, you're going to see some book covers there as well. One more thing they added is a very nice progress bar showing you your progress through the book on each one. This is super, super helpful for people who read multiple books at a time. The list view from before, it did the same thing, but it had no book covers and the progress bars were really, really weird with a bunch of dots. For the most part, these are all very stylistic improvements, but I really think this list view is one that more people will use with the new updates, including the progress bar that looks really nice, as well as the those book covers. Going back to the sorting menu, they also added a collections view over here. Now, I don't use collections personally, so I'm not an expert on this, but I do know this is a very big improvement for people who do use collections. What collections are, are a quick way of organizing all the books you have into different folders, basically. You can create custom collections for different kinds of folders you want to create on your Kindle. It's super easy now to press the plus button and create a new collection. You can name it whatever you want. And this menu comes up where you can choose which books you wanna add or remove from the collection that you're editing. There's also a new settings menu for collections. You can choose if you want these new collections that you're making to appear in the library or only in the collections view when you select it. I also really like how there's a new uncollected option over here where you can see all the books on your Kindle that are not part Part of a collection. You could also use filters to narrow down your collections even more. But one thing that I do see online people complaining about is there's currently no way to use the list view that we just talked about in the collections view. So you have to use this thumbnail view, this grid format to view all your collections in this page. Those are all the major updates that I'm seeing right now on the Kindle. If I missed something, please leave a comment down below. I'm also really interested to hear what everyone thinks of the new update. For me personally, I really do love how Amazon is continuing to invest in the Kindle software experience. I do think we'll be seeing some more major updates come throughout the year ahead of us. I'm really excited for that. If you enjoyed this video, check out my last software update video from last year where we talk about all the major changes they did from the last update. Link for that on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.